Hello everyone, I hope you're doing well. In this video, I'll be talking about a general description on Hinawi Software ERP, what is the company about, basically about the pricings and about the modules integration between each other. And uh, it's useful for any person interested to learn more about the company and any person interested to have a role in marketing and reselling and a general introduction on the features and uh, the strength points which are covered in Hinawi software and exist in there. Uh, I'll start with the, the general idea of the system. So basically it's an ERP system, uh, which stands for Enterprise Resource Planning System. Uh, the idea of, a, of an ERP is basically a one system or one software which contains several modules, and these modules are integrated between each other. So basically, um, when a company, for example, or a bank or a hospital is interested in the HR module or accounting module, those two modules or any selected modules will be integrated between each other. So uh, no need, for example, to take all the modules for any person interested to purchase the system since it will be covering only the modules which they need. Uh, this is the main idea of an ERP system, to have all modules you need in just one place where you can use them uh, for your daily work and depending, of course, on your company policies. Um, the company is mainly established in um, United Arab Emirates, more specifically in Abu Dhabi in 1998. After it got established there, it started with QuickBooks. So afterwards, um, some QuickBooks features were not actually according to company and client requirements. So QuickBooks was missing a lot of requirements and a lot of features and reports, uh, which extended to create Hinawi Software ERP. This ERP system covered all the missing features and reports, which was requested by clients. And this covered everything missing in QuickBooks itself. This includes the language since QuickBooks only have English language, but Hinawi Software uh, also covered the Arabic language. And when we talk here about the Arabic language, it's an instant switch. So instantly after clicking on this icon right here, the software automatically switches to the Arabic language and vice versa. So no need to close the system, no need to go log in into another place. It's all in the same place. And this is basically the main main thing uh, between QuickBooks and Hinawi software. But in addition to that, we also have the modules which was missing from QuickBooks. We have uh, the accounting module, the fixed asset contracting, real estate, school, garage, and all these other parts are all related to HRMS. So HRMS module is a huge module in the system and it's split or divided into several parts, which includes the manage employees part, the HRMS activities, timesheet, payroll, and of course the reports. Uh, that's another very important feature. Uh, in addition, of course, to the settings and setup, it's a very, very useful and powerful feature in the system because everything, all the transactions, activities, reports, everything reads from the setup. So in the setup, you can find uh, all you need in order to run the system as per your company policies. And this includes the permissions and the user access list settings in order to set specific permissions for each user and not allow all users to view uh, all the pages. So this is one thing. Another thing here is importing, uh, for example, lists and balances. And this includes any Excel sheet uh, specified here from the list, it can automatically be added uh, in the menus here directly by importing it into the system. So this is very uh, useful because it saves a lot of time in addition to balances. So we can also import balances regarding if we're talking about HR. So here we're talking about the leaves, unpaid salaries, loans, any part which, which can be um, imported is done from here. Uh, in addition to that, we have setup regarding each module. So, of course, this is accessed by the admin account or the admin user, uh, because from here we can um, have more control on the settings. So this is another thing. Uh, in addition to that, we have the templates and the templates is basically characterized in the flexibility of it. 
for example, when we're talking about invoices, checks, uh, any, uh, for example, forms or uh, formats here can be created and designed as per company policies. So no need to, to use a specific standard form because the company can design the form which they want. In addition to that, we have the audit trial. And from the audit trial form or window, uh, users specifically, let's say the admin user, can view all the transactions and the dates and um, times of everything that has been done by the users. For example, if a user, uh, user A, creates a specific transaction on a specific date and time, this can be viewed uh, from here. And in order to, for example, have more control and in order to uh, know exactly what user has done which part in the system. So the audit trial uh, is an important feature which is requested by companies and this is used and requested more specifically by the company owners because they prefer to have control in the company. In addition to that, we have reminder lists, which reminds the user of uh, specific parts in the system. And this is a very user-friendly feature. For example, it reminds you of employees who are generally uh, in test period, employees who have still not returned from leaves, uh, passports that are still requested and required to be returned, uh, any missing documents. Uh, so all, all these parts are basically existing in the file menu. In addition to that, we have something called the general list, which acts like a database. And from here, users can add more parts uh, automatically without uh, going back to the programmers and changing anything in the system. So this is a very, very fast method to create more leave types, for example, more allowances, um, more parts in the system. Let's see how it looks like. So this is the general list. We have all these tabs where users can add any parts they, they need and they require. Uh, so this is also another thing which um, provides us with more flexibility and user-friendly in the system. Uh, in addition to that, uh, the flexibility of the system also ranges in the place itself. So if a person wants to make marketing or have a role in reselling regarding the system, uh, there isn't any specific location they should be in, uh, whether they are in Jordan, United Arab Emirates, Lebanon, Syria, um, KSA, any country. So no specific place is required for people who wants to, to have a role in marketing on the system. The only branch which currently is existing is uh, in Jordan, it got established in 2017. Um, in addition to that, let's talk about the virgins of the system. So we have basically, as we said, it started with QuickBooks. So that's where um, when Hinawi software came along, it was connected to QuickBooks. It was integrated with it. So any user who wanted to use the system at that time, QuickBooks was also existing with it. Uh, however, um, in the year 2020, uh, those two systems got separated, which was a very powerful uh, feature here since Hinawi software became uh, a standalone software. So no need of to uh, log in or, or to purchase two softwares. It only became one standalone software. However, for any company that is still interested to have QuickBooks integrated along with Hinawi Software ERP, that option is available as well. Uh, so basically, this is the general idea of the standalone version and the QuickBooks uh, version along Hinawi Software. And I also want to talk about the um, pricing. So this is a very common question, actually. Uh, most clients, or let's say 99% of clients, uh, usually ask what is the price as their first question. And uh, to answer this question, basically, there isn't any specific price sheet. However, um, there are some indications regarding the price uh, in order to give an idea for clients or a person or any person interested uh, in the system. Uh, so basically it depends on several um, aspects. The first one is the number of users, because for example, a person interested to have only one user 
is different than a person requesting 10 or 30 or 20 users. So that's one. Two, it depends on the number of modules, because as we said, we have uh, several modules that can be integrated with each other based on the requirements. So, um, for example, if a person or a company interested in only the accounting module, uh, the price is going to be different than when they request accounting and fixed assets and HRMS module. Uh, so that, that's the second aspect. The third aspect is um, whether they want the system as it is with no additional requirements or programmings to be added to it. Uh, it's because that's different than when they request um, more details or more policy changes or pages or windows or reports to be added. So that's also another aspect. In addition to that, um, the training place and the location of the training uh, is also one of the considerations because it's uh, different when a company requests to, to take the training online than when it wants uh, to take the, the training face-to-face, -face, for example, or uh, the location is at our side in our offices or in the company or the client's offices. And that plays a role in the price. Uh, in addition to that, also, it depends on uh, whether they want QuickBooks integrated with it or whether they want Hinawi software as a standalone software. Because when it's a standalone software, as just Hinawi software by itself, the price is going to be less, of course. And in order to summarize all these points in a very, very short, user-friendly way, we usually give the clients uh, or people, let's say, interested in the system, we give them a specific link called the quotation request link. And through that link, uh, people interested can fill the information in there which are mainly um, company name, website, number of modules, number of uh, users, uh, some specific questions, uh, which is sent to the person interested. And afterwards, after they answer these questions, a copy of their answers will be sent by email to our company and to the reselling or resellers or marketing um, individuals and agents, which had a role in delivering that link to the person interested or the company interested. So afterwards, after they fill uh, this information, we can have an idea about what is the suitable price for them. Uh, and afterwards, we can arrange for a demo to explain more about the modules. And we can also uh, send them by email. We can send them the quotation offer itself. And afterwards, after the, the offer is confirmed, we can proceed forwards with the installation process and the training process and uh, to actually start using the software. And for that, we have prepared work plans, complete work plans, uh, depending on what module is requested. And I want to also show you uh, here the three main parts which uh, the software depends on. So the first part is the setup. We talked about it. Second part is the menus themselves, or let's say the transactions or activities themselves. And third part is the reports. So this is the main three parts of any module existing in the system. So that's also another important point. And I'll also show you um, how the, the quotation request link looks like. And of course, for each agent or each uh, member of the team, there is link for them because in this way we can know what agent brought what client so each client uh, that comes from a specific link that link will be connected to the agent's email and from that we can know which agent brought which client so now let me show you um how the quotation link looks like so this is how it looks like from the inside basically there's an introduction and uh, here the questions related. Uh, this is basically the content of it, but the link itself is from here. So this is the general link which we give to, um, to people interested in the system. And a copy of this link will be uh, somehow changed a bit in order to, to recognize uh, which agent has which link. But this is just the general link. 
So from here, we can know like the company name in English and Arabic, the business type, more information about that business, uh, the country and city which the business is located in, the contact person, which is the person filling the form and the position of that person, telephone, mobile, WhatsApp number and email because the quotation will be sent to this email here. And here there's a question, how did you know us? Um, basically, the, the person interested can uh, add more details and informations and uh, the number of modules and users the person is interested in in order to decide what price they um, deserve. And here we can also know more about whether they're currently using a QuickBooks or any other accounting software. And from this point, we can know whether they will request um, integration between QuickBooks and Hinawi software ERP or whether it's just the standalone version of Hinawi software ERP. Uh, more information um, if needed. Um, basically, those are the additional information about company size, type, whether private government or semi-government, total number of employees, uh, any, any comment here if needed and any attachments so this is how it looks like so this is the general idea about what is explorer computer what is hinawi software and uh, what is uh, the modules uh, contained in the system and the pricing an idea of how pricings are done and the quotation request link uh, if you have any further questions or require more details about any specific part, please don't hesitate to contact us and have a great day. Thank you.